Today we're at Dandy Engines and we're looking at piston coatings, in particular these Teflon coated pistons by Race Coatings that will not only save you time but money, Frank. Correct. Frank, tell us why you've just used this Teflon coating as opposed to getting a new set of pistons as you quite commonly would in an engine rebuilding process. When you have the opportunity to buy new pistons and oversize to resurrect the bore, to make the tolerance of the piston to bore clearance what it should be, it's fine when you can purchase the pistons and you're ready to go, but in this case, we don't have time. So the quickest thing to do was to coat the pistons and close the tolerance up. It's an easy process to do. A lot of people don't know about it, so we thought it was a good time to talk about it. So this particular engine is a good example of where these Teflon coatings are, can be an advantage. These are done by race coatings. This was a running engine, yeah. and it was basically rubbing the ball at top dead centre when the piston was rocking, because it had too much clearance, so it was rocking. Someone might ask, how, how can a piston rock inside the ball, Frank? Well, when it's got too much clearance, the skirt, it's only supported by the rings, the piston, and the, and the skirt is off the cylinder wall. The further away it is, the more it can rock when it's going up and down. Yeah. As it's going up and down, if it's rocking, the rings are no longer mm. up against the cylinder. You're using the edge of the ring when the piston rocks, and that allows fuel and compression yeah. into the sum, so then which we don't want. So then your, what you'll see from that is what you call is like a blow-by effect? Correct. Yeah. And you'll get unburnt fuel mm. in your oil, mm. then it causing other dramas. Other dramas, yeah. It's quite a simple process, but it works. It does work very well, especially when you can't get the pistons on time. Yeah. You might be in a, a situation where you have a class and you can't be outside a certain piston size. Yeah. That can bring things back so you're on the numbers as far as not going over a cubic inch. And you, you tell race coatings, they can actually do like one, two or three thou. Correct. Very um, accurate, isn't it? Correct. I know race coatings, they obviously prep these pistons before they get coated. So by adding three thousandths of an inch of coating to the, the actual skirt, it allows us to hone the ball around again. Now, if you can make it tighter, the rings can do their job. I think a lot of people, when this subject comes up, they think that this just evaporates as soon as the engine starts up. That's not the case at all. It doesn't. He, you know, here's, here's a piston that's been in one of our small block you know, Fords that makes a lot of power. And it's done a lot of work, and you will see that it hasn't worn the coating completely off. It has worn in certain spots. This is the extreme end of, end of performance, though. Correct. Yeah. That's a small block that makes a lot of power. Mm. So to see that you know, the majority of the coating is still on the skirt, it's doing its job. And it saves the owner buying a set of pistons if it really doesn't call for it. Mm. Especially in today's day and age where you can't necessarily get parts overnight you can't, No, you can't get parts as quick as we used to, but you know, the coating is a lifesaver. You know, we, we might coat a few pistons a week yeah. just to save a few guys like being able to wait for pistons and at least we can put an order in for pistons mm. and the race coating will get them out of the next yeah. few races. And their turnaround time is only a couple of days. I yeah. yeah. Yep. So the procedure of this coating is not like printed coating, where printed coating pretty much comes off as soon as you fire an engine up. Mm. The ceramic coating that uh, race coating does, as you can see, it stays on and keeps the piston skirt the right size. Yeah, it's sort of a, not, it's a quite a cost effective solution in the grand schemes of rebuilding Correct. your engine, isn't it? Correct, yes. I mean, every race engine has to come apart and the bores need to be honed correctly for the new rings to lap into. And the more you hone it, the bigger it gets, even though you're taking one thou at a time. So the coating will save the, the end user of having to constantly spend money on pistons. And time. And time, yeah. when you can get pistons coated, allowing him to get twice the length of time out of a set of pistons. 